Back to back promotion. Back to back league titles. Surely not, right? Well, we will find out today as we are taking on Notts County in the battle for first place. Run the intro. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of King of the North and you join us sitting in second place in the league and the only thing that could make this better is if you press like and subscribe that will make my day better and hopefully it will make your day better too. However let's look at the schedule and see how on earth we've ended up in second place after being promoted last year and since that demolition job of Wrexham in the last episode we have just been unstoppable. A 4-2 victory at home against Ebsfleet. Ibrahim Asai with two. Virgil Gomez got two as well. Then we went away to Solihull Moors. Ethan Wassell got a goal from the back. And then we had to rely on a penalty by Adam Campbell to see us through with that one. But then, Bromley came to town and my God, did we play well. 8-1 victory at home against Bromley. Virgil Gomez getting five goals. Five goals. Unheard of. And then compared to that incredible result, a 2-0 victory away at Weymouth, well, it kind of pales in comparison really, but it's still a good victory nonetheless. And that brings us to today's game against Notts County, where if we look at the league table, Notts County are unbeaten. In fact, they've won every single game, and we've won seven and lost the one. So today's game really is going to decide who is going to be in that top spot moving forwards. Of course, if they win, opens up a six-point gap. If we win with our goal difference, we go top of the league, baby. And with Virgil Gomez getting 12 in 8 games, I'm, I'm feeling kind of hopeful. And that hope is, well, because of a slight change to our starting 11. You will notice that our fearsome 3 in the middle has changed. Greg Ollie is now occupying this right wing, and to be honest, he's played incredibly well. Average rating of 7.72, he's really found this wing play to be a very big strength. And with that, it has allowed Ibrahim Asai to come in to central midfield. He has played incredibly well since coming in, played four games in the league, scored three goals, got one assist from centre mid, cannot complain with that one at all. So the 11 moving forward looks something like this. We've got Chapman in goal, Tinkler, Bajrami, Wassel and Laura at the back, Comley, Sai and Pani in the middle. Now, somewhat surprisingly, Pani hasn't actually done that well so far this season. One goal, four assists. I mean, that, that is still quite good, but I am kind of expecting more from this guy this season. So far, whilst he's playing all right, we're not really getting those performances we had last year. Ahead of Panny, Campbell on the left, Ollie on the right, of course, and Mr. Goal Machine himself up front, Virgil Gomez. On the bench, we do have Rhys Bennett. He's a signing who I actually forgot to let you guys know about a couple of episodes ago. We got him on a free, if I remember rightly, from Man United. Yeah, on a free at the end of last year and he's played three games so far this season and to be honest his attributes they're pretty good i don't think he's going to be starting ahead of the center backs we have at the moment but you never know if he reaches his potential he's either going to be a good prospect to sell on or he's going to be a starter in r11 but r11 is set for today's game against Notts county let's get into it and see if we can go top of the table this is it then the top of the table clash Notts County against Gateshead and of course we are at home so we should in theory have the advantage. We've been playing some excellent football this season and honestly we are performing way above what I expected at the start of the year. Of course I thought we'd be in and around the playoff positions but to be sitting what three points off the lead with a chance of going top? I didn't see that coming at all but obviously our signings you know they've worked quite well and with the benefit of Gomez banging in goals left, right and centre, we're in a pretty healthy position. First highlight of the game, it is a corner. Ollie whips it in. There's Wassel. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. He's hit the bar. That's unfortunate. I have actually been messing around with corner tactics to see if I can get anyone to score some goals. I've seen online people getting goalkeepers to score 50 goals a season. My centre-backs barely get three a year. So I'm clearly doing something wrong. If anyone has got any hints or tips or videos to watch, please do link them down in the comments below because my centre-halves, they are useless at scoring from corners. There is another corner. Let's see if we can make something from it. As Ollie whips it in. There's Wassel. Oh, he loses out. 
but the ball comes to Campbell at the edge. Comney, Ollie driving inside the box. Nice little Cruyff turn there. Lays it back to Campbell. Can he get a shot away? He can. Top corner. Adam Campbell. 1-0. Come on. What a goal that is. Absolutely sublime finish. Hopefully we'll see it from a different angle with this director cam. Sometimes you hit lucky. Sometimes you don't. And it looks like we're getting exactly the same camera angle. But watch this little Cruyff turn here. Whoop. Oh, he sells two there. There's Campbell. One touch. Right foot. Top corner. Happy days. Come on. It's 1-0. We're top of the table, baby. And there we are. Gates had move up to first position. Happy days. Come on. And the, and the half is not over yet. As, oh, Chapman has to save there. Can we counter? What is this camera angle? Can we change this? Please, director. Clip, clip. There we go. Hey, it's as if I'm actually the director. I'm not. But it would be cool if I was. As Chapman launches it up. And, well, it goes to no one. And Lacey is going to pick it up for Notts County. Driving out from the back there. Kelly Evans. Palmer. Actually went to school with a girl called Kelly Evans. How strange is that? Cameron now. Driving out from the back. Is a wide centre back maybe? Who knows what Notts County are playing? I don't. I should know really. I should probably look at their formation to see if we can address any weaknesses. But nah, doesn't matter. There's Notts County half the ball. There's Chadwick. Acres of space in the middle. Wooden, lovely walk. Oh, it's a lovely run through. What a great finish. Ah, fair enough. That's a good goal. Well done, Notts County. Good goal. Oof. <laughs> I'm such a bad loser. But yeah, lovely football by Notts County. Fantastic goal, really. The run off the ball here, coming through there. Fantastic. Little dink finish as well over the goalkeeper. You'd love to see them when you score them. You hate to see them when the other team scores. But it is what it is. It's 1-1. One -one. And with half-time approaching, it is a bad time to concede, of course. But to be honest, we've been the better team. I expect a second half for us to be a little bit more dominant. And I'm going to say exactly that to the boys as well. I'm going to point my finger and say, you know what? We've created many chances to be ahead. You keep doing what you can do, boys. And I'm sure we'll get the lead. And hopefully we'll get those three points while we're at it. As the second half begins. You know what? I'm going to shout some encouragement at them. I always forget to do this when I'm recording. But come on, boys. Get further forward. Get some encouragement on the go. And our front players are playing quite well. Or, hey, well, everyone, but Virgil Gomez. Now, isn't that ironic after scoring five goals? All right, with 60 minutes on the clock, I am tempted to make a change. I don't really want to take Virgil Gomez off because, he's well, he's just too good. But he's not really doing anything. What we're going to do, in fact, is we're going to play a little bit more direct, play for set pieces, see if we can try and neutralize some corners, maybe, see if we can score some goals. Who knows? But you never know. Set pieces, Greg Ollie can score from anyway. So if we get one, he can pop it in the top corner. With any luck. That'll do for now. We'll accept those changes. To see if we can get something out of this game. 20 minutes left to go. And I think changes are going to be needed to make. Virgil Gomez is not playing well. You know what? Oh, and Greg Ollie's just picked up a knock as well. That is bad news. Let's have a look and see what we can do. First thing is, Falovi is going to come on for Virgil Gomez. If you can't remember who this guy is, I don't blame you. He's a striker I bought last year. He is He's okay. He scored one goal in 12 games, so he's not a very good striker. But you never know. He might score today. Fingers crossed. They're forever hopeful. And then we're going to bring on Charles Hagen for Oli on that right wing. Oli's just too important to risk getting injured more seriously. And I think what we'll do, in fact, is we're going to change into a midfield three we're going to bring Comley further up and we're going to push Sai as a Mazzola on attack so therefore we've got Pani, Sai, Campbell, Hagen and Falovi all pushing forwards in the hope that we can get the winner confirm those changes and let's see if we can get something from this game now obviously a triple change on FM is normally a recipe for disaster and I've just realized I've only made two so no disasters are incoming obviously as that's a great ball over the top. Here's Falovi, the first time we see him, driving into the box. Of course, not known for his goal scoring, unfortunately, but that is a definite penalty. How's he got up there? Oh, never mind, the cross was in. Hagen, how we not got a penalty there? Campbell went flying. Tinkler from miles away. Slow comb with a great save. That was definitely a penalty, surely. But hey, we've played for set pieces and we've got one. It's a corner. Adam Campbell now whips it in. Can we score? We cannot. No surprise there. 
And it looks like Notts County are going to counter with Vincent on the ball. Driving forwards, plays a lovely ball back to Christy Davis. And that is the end of the highlight. So clearly there's no counter there. But we've got 10 minutes left. Can we do something? I'm going to shout at the boys. I'm going to demand a little bit more. Conley's had an absolute stinker. He's coming off for McLeod. You can do something for the last five minutes, hopefully. Can we get one more chance to go top of the table? Three minutes left. Come on, boys. One more chance. Is it going to happen? Doesn't look likely. And that is that, then. Notts County have dropped points for the first time this season, and we have held them to a 1-1 draw. And if I'm honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. I think we should have won that match. We had the better of it. We had plenty of opportunities and plenty of chances, but we just couldn't find the back of the net. But such is life every now and then. A draw's not the end of the world. We're still second in the league. And Notts County, of course, we're coming after you. We are hot on your heels, my friend. However, it looks like we're going to be without Greg Olly. How bad is this injury? Two to three days. Ah, that's fine. He'll probably miss the ball and more game coming up next. But that's fine. He'll be back for the rest of the season, no doubt. A little bit of other news as well before we end the episode. Gateshead have actually paid for my Continental C license and now I'm studying for my B license. So, man's getting better at managing apparently. <laughs> now, to help me be a manager, I've actually found a new assistant manager. And you may recognise him, Mario Mandzukic. I decided to go for some international experience, 33 goals in 90 games or so. And, well, even though his attributes aren't fantastic, for the world of football manager he's definitely an upgrade on what i had and it's mario mandzukic the man's a legend anyways that is the end of today's episode if you have enjoyed it please do drop a like consider subscribing and hopefully i'll see you next time